Welcome to Dead by Daylight, Chapter 16. Experience the twisted brutality of Silent Hill in the realm of the Entity. Enter Midwich Elementary School. Though desks and textbooks remain, they are eerily contrasted with blood-stained walls, rusted chains, and hanging cadavers. The new killer is the Executioner. Sadistic and merciless, Pyramid Head is fixated on dispensing punishment through pain. The Executioner's power is rights of judgment. Open the gates of suffering and be judged. The Great Knife splits the ground, giving rise to an infernal construct and spreading agony to all who approach. Survivors who step through the trail will have their position revealed for a short time. They will also be affected by torment. If survivors fall into the dying state while suffering from torment, they can be banished to a Cage of Atonement. The Cage of Atonement is a new way to sacrifice survivors that is exclusive to the Executioner. While Rites of Judgment is active, Pyramid Head gains access to a special ability, Punishment of the Damned. This attack allows Pyramid Head to unleash a punishing wave that damages survivors from a distance and through obstacles. If a survivor who has already been hooked twice finds themselves in the dying state while afflicted by torment, Pyramid Head can initiate his special ability, Final Judgment. Rather than being sent to a cage of atonement, the unwitting survivor will be mercilessly executed where they grovel. The Executioner comes with three new perks. Unleash punishment with forced penance. Survivors who take a protection hit briefly experience the oblivious status effect. Tear away all hope with Trail of Torment. After kicking a generator, you become undetectable for a short duration. During this time, the generator's aura is revealed to all survivors. Activating Trail of Torment incurs a lengthy cooldown. Show them what judgment truly means with Deathbound. When a survivor heals an ally while Pyramid Head is out of range, the survivor performing the healing action will scream, revealing their location and activating Deathbound for a moment. While Deathbound is active, the survivor will suffer from the oblivious status effect if they stray too far away from their healed ally. New survivor, Cheryl Mason. Caring and impulsive, Cheryl Mason's dark past allows her to survive through immense hardship, stay in contact with other survivors, and plan objectives. Cheryl comes with three new perks. Your dark past has made you resilient. Press onward with Soul Guard. After you heal or recover from the dying state, you briefly gain the Endurance status effect. While cursed by a hex, you can fully recover from the dying state. Awaken your sacred bond with Blood Pact. When you or the obsession are injured, you see each other's auras. After healing or being healed by the Obsession, you both gain the Haste status effect for a short duration. Using Blood Pact reduces the odds of becoming the Obsession. If you do become the Obsession, Blood Pact is deactivated. As a veteran of terror, you understand fear better than most. Use the darkness to your advantage with Repressed Alliance. After repairing generators for a long duration, Repressed Alliance activates. When the perk is active, press the Active Ability button while repairing a generator to call upon the entity to block the generator for a moment. The perk deactivates. The aura of affected generators will be revealed to all survivors. Find Redemption. Or inflict punishment with the Silent Hill Chapter in Dead by Daylight.